This video looks at using Nmap to output a report that's suitable for inclusion in a pen test report, a report that you can give to management, or a report that can be uploaded into other tools. They all use the same format, it's the Nmap XML format. To use this format, basically start to scan like any other, except using the output options for XML. So this is going to be Nmap. And I use dash O for operating system detection. Dash A to run common Nessus or common Nmap scripts that run like Nessus plugins, and these can be found on the Nmap website. They're called the NSE scripts. And then we also want to do service version detection. So running dash A is a lot like running dash O, followed by dash SV, followed by dash dash scripts equals the most common scripts. But dash A is just kind of a shortcut. So we also want to use the reason flag because we want to get Nmap to tell us why it's saying that there's a port open and the dash dash open flag because we only want to report open ports otherwise your report is going to be cluttered with a lot of information about ports that were scanned but Nmap didn't actually find anything on those ports and in order to get the cleanest report with just the most relevant information the dash dash open flag helps and then the output options so dash O capital X is how you tell Nmap that you want to output into the Nmap XML format. This format is suitable for upload into Backtrack, uh, excuse me, not Backtrack, Metasploit Community Edition, or the regular Metasploit through DB Connect. And then also you can import this into Dratus, and it can be in, uh, imported into other tools as well. So dash OX and then the name of the file. So we could say 192.168-.1.subnet and then give it an XML extension. And then the next step is probably the one that gets messed up the most. And that's where you set the style sheet for the XML so that when you open the XML in a web browser, the web browser has a style sheet in which to format the XML file into HTML output. The way this works is you type in the path to the style sheet that you want the browser to use from the browser's point of view. So you can either hard code a complete path or you can hard code a relative path, but it's relative from uh, where this XML file is going to be read by the browser. So if you're going to have the XML output into, say, your home directory, and you type in nmap.xsl, then this is a relative path, and that means that the nmap.xsl file needs to be in that same home directory when you try to open it with Firefox. This is the easiest way to do it, and it does require you to copy the nmap.xsl file to the directory where you're going to store the XML file when you open the XML file with the web browser. The XSL is not used when you import the XML into other tools. It's only used to tell the web browser how to format the report. And then finally, you're going to put your subnet and run the scan. So after running a scan earlier and saving the output, we can see a scan that was ran. Also, we can see that a copy of the nmap.xsl has been placed into the same exact directory as the XML as discussed. And now we can open this output with the browser with that nmap.xsl in the same directory. If we go to our browser, this is the report and we can see it's well formatted and contains a list of everything found along with all the ports, the reasons, and all the service version detections.